What's up guys, Sal here. So Huawei has officially launched the Huawei Mate 30 Pro in the midst of Google uncertainty. It offers world-class features, but also has one big flaw which would prevent you from buying this handset. So let's take a look at the top features this device has to offer. The first thing you're gonna notice is the display curves on this phone. The Mate 30 Pro has dramatic curves at the sides which bends to an almost 90 degree. Looks really good but we have to see how this would impact the user experience. It's a 6.53 inch OLED screen with an 18.4 to 9 aspect ratio. There's absolutely no mention of 90Hz refresh rate so I guess the Mate 30 Pro comes with the normal 60Hz display. The Mate 30 Pro is capable of recording super slow motion videos at an astounding 7680 frames per second at 720p or 960 fps at 1080p. Just look at this video. It records 8 times slower than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus which records slow mo videos at 960 fps. I don't know how Huawei was able to achieve this but it certainly is mind blowing. The phone retains the 3D sensors for face unlock that was used on the Mate 20 Pro last year which also means they retain the notch as well. When you compare it to device like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the OnePlus 7 Pro, it looks outdated and looks like a device from 2017 to be honest. The Mate 30 Pro comes with a 40 watt wire charging similar to the P30 Pro but on the wireless charging department, it broke all the previous records. It supports 27 watts fast wireless charging. The previous best was from Xiaomi, which offered 20 watts of wireless charging speeds. The Mi 30 Pro can also be used to wirelessly charge other devices, a feature that is known as reverse wireless charging. The camera has to be the main focal point of this phone. It comes with four rear cameras. The primary camera is a 40 megapixel wide angle. The second camera is 16 megapixel super wide angle. While the third camera is an 8 megapixel telephoto sensor for a 3x optical zoom and 5x hybrid zoom. The fourth camera spot is actually for laser autofocus. The phone also comes with video bokeh feature similar to the one on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The Mate 30 Pro can detect your hand movement to scroll pages, change slides, etc. At its current form, air gestures are a gimmick at best. I mean, you will look dumb if you do this in public. But the future implications look promising, so let's see how this play out. To accommodate the sharper curves, Huawei has installed invisible touch capacitive buttons for the volume rocker instead of traditional hardware keys. So you can just double tap and slide your fingers at the side to increase or decrease the volume. Also you can use it as a shutter button to take pictures which is pretty neat in my opinion. This is a bummer. The CEO confirmed that it doesn't come with Google Apps and Play Store. Instead, there will be a Huawei App Gallery pre-installed. But the problem is, it's nowhere near to the Play Store in terms of app capacity. The CEO also says you can't sideload the Google Apps either. Now, there's a confusion on what he meant. People are saying that it's a communication error and you can sideload the apps, which I guess we'll find out soon enough. But without Google services, the Mate 30 Pro doesn't even stand a chance against the competition. On top of it, Huawei is charging 1100 euros for this phone. I mean, they're out of their mind to charge this much for this phone in the midst of Google uncertainty. Anyway, I'll keep you updated on what happens to this device in the days to come, so please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.